for this session for the i think for the since uh since 19 no no it's not, not right since 2015 i think we uh already uh, spoke to you about um lblod local website that's linked open data um and last year we uh spoke about of course since this is uh, open belgium the importance of uh, data open data and how we uh, work together with the community uh, to make sure we have uh, relevant solutions uh, for citizens um, and i'm not sure if you remember but because it was the last uh, event i think before we went to into lockdown um, and we noticed how important uh, our project was because all of a sudden a lot of uh, decisions um, were made that we haven't heard of before like where a, having to wear a, a face mask uh, was all of a sudden a, a new, the new normal um, curfews uh, and even a maximum amount of people that can be in a certain area a whole um, wide world of new kind of decisions uh, that we we needed to know about uh, um, of course other governments needed to know what uh, uh, was decided but also we as a civilian uh, we wanted to know and companies also needed to know what the, the rules the new rules were um, and the question always is can uh, i access the information how can i make sure that uh, I as a citizen or my fellow citizens know what to do. Can we uh, create a solution that makes sure uh, that everyone knows the rules? Uh, and since we have a project that's built an ecosystem uh, based on standards and linked open data, we can say yes. Uh, I could say yes, we can. Yes, you can. Um, We even have a deadline this year, by June uh, 2021, so this year, um, local authorities will publish all of their decisions as linked open data. Um, it will make that data sharing easier, as you all know, um, and a lot of uh, local uh, governments are already have started. So that means that they uh, are making their decisions available uh, based on the linked open data standard they even have to publish it as linked open data it's a rule um, and they have a lot of uh, solutions to do so so we are helping them with uh, um, a lot editor so an lod editor text editor uh, you i think you lost edition you could uh, even have a go at it and and try to create your own uh, text editor uh, and your own decisions uh, in it um we have a few uh, software vendors that uh, already embed uh, our editor in uh, their uh, tool and there are also a few uh, local software suppliers that uh, embedded the the linked open data standard uh, in their publishing module uh, so that local governments can publish uh, their decisions um the last year, we spent a lot of time on info sessions, uh, testing, um, support, giving them feedback, uh, even giving them money to make sure that uh, everyone is on board. And it pays off. Um, so we already have six, 56, 56, yes, uh, percent of all the local governments that publish their decisions as linked open data. And it's an increase of uh, more than 20%, I think 26% since uh, last summer. So it may cost us a lot of uh, patience and uh, effort, but we see it works. Um, and what does it mean? Is that all of the information on um, local decisions like agendas, uh, the decisions themselves, uh, the meeting minutes, that they are available uh, on the local websites. So we already did a test on Google. If you uh, look for, for local decisions, um, it is easier nowadays to find the local decisions. Um, so 
if you want to look for something of your own uh, local government, you'll probably find it uh, uh, on the local websites also. Um, but we also, as a Flemish government, we also uh, harvest the information and put it in our own uh, data uh, uh, hive. Um, Catherine will show you later how it looks like. Uh, of course, you can also look for the mandates uh, and the um, uh, leidinggevende um, uh, of the local governments. It's also a, a database you can search for. Um, what we also do is uh, simplify the communication between governments and, and, and higher authorities like uh, Flanders. Um, it is kind of uh, uh, difficult for uh, Flanders to look at all of the 300 local governments and know what to decide upon, especially uh, with COVID. Um, knowing what the, the rules were, not only as citizens, but also as Flanders to, to, to make sure that every decision is, is, is uh, not only legal, but is, is in sync with each other. That wasn't easy. Um, so we we did uh, uh we could fall back on a database we already had uh, to make sure we have insights in what is going on at the local level so we have a besluiten data bank a database of, of local decisions where you could full text search actually what was decided upon uh, at the local level so for example when we uh, uh, looked for face face mask mond masker i can even show you if you want i could oh show you oh but i can't show you because <laughs> or uh uh okay i can't show you because our network is down at uh, flanders so i will show you maybe later on um can you again see the presentation sorry so um if you look for face mask mond masker in dutch uh, in our uh, decision uh, database you could find i think almost 2000 decisions um on mond masker so that means that uh uh, yeah, Flanders can look at all of these decisions and make sure that they're legal and uh, in sync with each other, with, with higher legislation, for example. Um, we make sure that we, we, we share this information with other departments in Flanders so that local governments don't have to copy the information to other departments uh, over and over again. So, we want to uh, make sure that uh, citizens can uh, be informed and can be involved in a better way. Um, we, um, we have a goal by 23, we want to make sure that there are tools so we can do so uh, by sharing the data we have and working together with all of you, with the community. This is our minister, Bart Somers. He also believes that uh, the project we have here uh, helps in involving citizens uh, in the local uh, decision-making. Um, and he already uh, answered in the Flemish parliament uh, on questions uh, about uh, um, citizen invol involvement. So he, he uh, mentioned that he really would like uh, 2023 to be uh the moment we uh, have better solutions to make sure that we can involve citizens when we are um doing a project uh we have a kind of an agile way to make sure that we have the right solution we identify the problem we research a lot of possibilities how can we tackle this problem we build a project and then we test i'm going to hide this 
the assumptions we made earlier and we are trying to learn uh, from uh, doing and testing uh, our products and what we built. That's, that is why we where we are now. So we are uh, asking you, the community, to test what we made. And we are asking you to influence the future. I uh, explained so um, that we want to involve and inform the, 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 the citizens. And we want to, uh, you to challenge us. We want you to um, uh, take the data we have and uh, do something with it so that local governments can be motivated to be even more transparent. Um, it's important for them to see that people uh, are interested in the data, in the local decisions, um, so they uh, know that the, the change they have to make in order to, 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 to publish the data as linked open data, um, that it, is, it has value. Um, we also want you to um, inspire the, the, the policymakers to invest in, 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 in data and open data uh, and especially in, in, in linked open data. So if you have any idea from, uh, on how to use the data on decisions, what would you do uh, and what data would you want? Um, we are... Um, um, we want to challenge you to pitch an idea, a concept, a design, maybe even a working application uh, in three weeks. So we made a prototype, Catherine will show you. Um, and we want you to play with the data and make sure you have some kind of uh, idea. Um, Catherine will now show you what data we have right now. We usually have more general information on meeting minutes, agendas, decisions, and those who make the decisions. Uh, and we yes. uh, put it in a decision data hive that Catherine will show you now how to use it. Okay, I will uh, take over uh, the screen. Uh, good morning, all. Before uh, we start with the exploration of uh, the Data decision uh, hive. Um, I will still uh, uh, repeat what we we have in it. Uh, Veronique mentioned it uh, already. We have um, data about um, mandates. They are coming out from the Mandaten data bank. We have uh, data about uh, management functions. This is uh, coming from the Leidinggevende data bank. Those two data sets are mostly complete. We have it from all um, municipalities. And then the data we are uh, today uh, presenting to you about the decisions. Uh, we have on this moment um, from uh, five um, municipalities because we are still uh, trying to uh, to help them to do to do it uh, good, because uh, you have to know they are uh, already obliged to do it uh, from January um, 2019. But they are in uh, a way to to start, and it takes some time. And uh, um, the municipality of Lievehem, for example, uh, they have started in October to publish their first. Uh, not to learn as a uh, linked open data. How can you see that? I will go back a step. Here you have the city council and on the bottom and they have three uh, documents that are published as linked open data, an agenda, a list with uh, decisions and the meeting minutes. The meeting minutes are the most extensive uh, documents. Uh, I will uh, open it. There you have um, who is attending to the meeting, you have the items on the agenda and what is decided. So you have the decision itself that is completed in the lists. You have only the items and the decision that is made about it, not the whole text and the agenda is only the agenda items with sometimes a description. So an, a meeting like this, they are having once a month and mostly not in December or not in Feb February, so from 
October till now, we have only uh, four documents already, not the meeting minutes of the last uh, one who was held uh, in uh, uh, February because in, they are published end of March after the next uh, meeting. So just to explain how the process is working, it takes some time to have the um, complete um, meeting minutes. Um, what's interesting before you uh, start to explore uh, the um, and that a decision data hive is uh, to watch the data model and that will help you to know what you can uh, find which items you can use to uh, write the, the queries uh, you can use the entities relationships but uh, I'm not a technical and um, I uh, learned by uh, doing so I will explore together with you the uh, data so here uh, we have a first uh, query we are going to look um, how many uh, meetings are in this uh, decision data hive. So I used here uh, a query who is asking for besluit sitting what is um, having this uh, type. So I have on this moment 23 uh, meeting uh, meetings in the um, in the Sparkle endpoint. Um, which means that uh, for the agenda and the list of decisions and uh, the meeting minutes, they are all uh, put together in one meeting. So for one meeting, you can find three types of uh, information. Let's go a step uh, further. In who are the boards who are uh, holding the meeting? Uh, that's something else you can do. Then I, I hear, I ask for the URI, so I uh, receive the URI. And here you have the 23 meetings with their um, meeting boards and I can explore it further. When I click on it, I can see one, oh, here it's the College of Denze uh, that has made uh, some decisions uh, here. Uh, there are other ways to uh, ask um, information. So perhaps it's, more interesting to to uh, explore something uh, where we have several uh, meeting minutes. So I want to know which board has uh, more than one uh, meeting or how many meetings have uh, each uh, board we are having in the uh, data set. So I receive here the answer, the most are uh, having uh, one in it for the moment. I have here, uh, board with four meeting minutes. Let's explore this further. I can choose to, to copy the link uh, here and then uh, go for another query. It was already prepared, so I will uh, do it here. I have uh, four um, meeting minutes. And just uh, shortly to, to show how you can uh, search in it, let's go uh, further and look at the data uh, itself. Uh, you saw the website of Leverham, normally seen. It's a meeting minute of Leverham I have here uh, opened. And you see it here on uh, the URI. Um, for this um, municipality, there is a difference between the URI and the, UR the URL they use. And the URI is not the referenceable on this moment. When I click on the URI, you will have uh, um, an, an error um, message. Um, this is uh, also a tragic a tragic we are working to, and they are going step by step. In one of in one of the following uh, new versions of their uh, software, it will be uh, dereferenceable. There are already uh, software houses who can uh, make the URI dereferenceable. Although we have a lot of information already uh, from this meeting minutes, I go to the bottom because there we have uh, the general information. You can find here the date of the meeting, it was the 27th of January, 
when it started at eight o'clock, started at time eight o'clock, ended at nine o'clock. The location and this times is now mostly a digital meeting and before you found their council uh, room or uh, something like that. Uh, sometimes now it's also a, a cultural centrum where they are uh, meeting. Uh, what can you find? Uh, also, um, the meeting has a president and I see the URI of the president. When I click on it, I will do it in another uh, screen or another tab. You have the information about the president. He is um, started at uh, the 2nd of January in 2019 and he holds mandates, he has uh, memberships and that's about the fraxi uh, you can find there but we want to know who the person is then I can go here to bestu is bestuurlijke alias van then I get to know the person and it's here going about Nicolas Pinal this um, data we are getting from the Mandaten data bank so the link who is used here uh, you can find it also in the Mandaten data bank. Let's go back to our meeting minutes, what we have also. We have the amazing uh, best start. Those are the persons who are from the beginning at uh, the meeting. Um, it works the same way. You can also find the mandates. Um, here uh, you see the um, board who is uh, holding uh, a meeting. I showed it before for uh, Deinze. Here you can see it's the Gemeenteraad van Lievegem. And also um, the posts who are uh, forming the um, board can you find in here. So let's go. Further, I will scroll to the to the top again. Here you see all uh, attendees. Then here we start with the agenda items. I will uh, pick uh, one. Let's try this one. So then you can see um, what information we have about an agenda item. Okay. My internet is hanging. I'll try it again. It was working this morning. Always risky to have a live demo. Yes. <laughs> okay. Pick another one, perhaps. Yes, here I have it. It was a little uh, slow. So about the agenda item, I'm not uh, uh, kidding you. Here it's about an agenda punt. Um, I can go to the uh, subject of the agenda. And then you see who is the attendee at the uh, agenda item because uh, someone can leave or can um, start uh, later at the, at the meeting or in some uh, cases, he may not be uh, attending uh, the discussion uh, on an agenda item because he's involved in the agenda uh, discussion. Um, so the attendees we have here, when we go further, we have again the voorzitter. Um, interesting here is you can see how people have voted on the agenda uh, point. And let's open this. We will stay in the same tab. I, oh, okay. I missed. No problem. When I go back. So when you um, take this one, you uh, are uh, coming to the definition of what is heft stemming. To see the data, you take the one at the right uh, column. So what you know? Uh, uh, what's about? Uh, what's to find about the? Um, voting you can see who has voted uh yeah is is voorstander uh van the 
at uh, the item or who is uh, oh there were only people who are saying yes we are going to do that it's still uh, loading here i don't think there were the standards it's a uh, it's a big uh, now I have no the standards here. I will wait until he has uh, loaded the other page. So because he's all also counting how many people uh, have uh, voted uh, yes, who were um, how many people who were uh, against it, and uh, so you can uh, see um, what's the the amount it's a public stemming and it's because uh this the voting is public you uh can uh, know um how every um councillor has voted there are also uh votings who are um yeah secret as we know it uh, as we yeah, as we know it um and then uh, you do you do not know how every uh, person has uh, has voted. There are no um, standards here. Everyone was uh, uh, yeah, had said uh, yes. So we see here 924 standards. There's, there were 29 persons uh, in the council uh, room. We do not know yet on what uh, they have uh, voted. So we are going back. because we want to know what were they uh, voting about and then normally it's this one where i can see uh, what they have uh, discussed it was a besluit van het college here you can see also what's the um content of the decision and what's the motivation to take the uh, uh, decision it's a long motivation. Uh, for this moment, uh, you find uh, the um, decision in, in one text block in the um, software houses or the tools that are uh, already further in, uh, in the data model. They are, uh, uh, they can uh, split up uh, from article and from this uh, on this moment, we do not have yet someone who is uh, uh, splitting up in uh, articles because it takes some time to uh, to have uh, changes to the software tools. Well, uh, this is what I uh, wanted to show you, what we have in our uh, data uh, hive. I will not uh, go too far in it, so you can explore it uh, by yourself. On our uh, uh, website, you have um, other kind of uh, queries. So I, I say, let's uh, explore and uh, try to do some things. We are going to um, add some more uh, documents and there are uh, municipalities who are starting uh, in a few days. Uh, so uh, by the end of the week, you will uh, find a little more uh, data available. So I give uh, back the word to uh, Veronique. Thank you, Katrin. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm not sharing my screen. My screen I see, I'll just try to fix that. Um, I still have to click on screen. screen. Yes. Thank you for explaining um, our uh, decision data hive. Um, I tried to show you our uh, database of decisions earlier. I managed to get in there. So I can show you how we could search for Mondmasker. For example, I will first tell you we have uh, six, 68, uh, 86,000, more than 86,000 uh, uh, documents in our database. And if I go for Montmasker, uh, it will show us uh, that there are 
1484 decisions on one masker. Um, and like Katrin uh, showed us, you can click on them and look for uh, link decisions on there like this. We go to the website of the local uh, government and then we can see that there was a decision, decision by the mayor when and where to wear a mouth mask. Um, if we then go to the future, what we would like to 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 have is is, is solutions where we can um, uh, not only look for the text of mouth masks, but that you also can see a list of of uh places where you have to wear the mouth mask uh like this these are the streets in the center of a city for example where we have to wear it it's like that almost everywhere i think um and that you can click on the streets and see what was decided upon that uh, street uh, earlier um where a mouth mask was was mentioned in a decision uh, and even what we would like is uh, some kind of a link to uh, uh, measurements on how busy it is. So you can have some kind of alert that uh, sometimes the rule says you have to wear a mouth mask when it's busy. So it would be nice uh, that you also get some kind of alert on that. Uh, so that was, is what we envision in the future. Um, uh, in, in making tools possible where we can integrate the, the information on decisions in applications that are close to citizens. Uh, um, so I would invite you to explore our data and dream with us. Um, we will la launch a website on the, the challenge, um, I think in a few. Um, um, Arthur Mit should, uh, should uh, mention it. He's already available. Ah, he's already available. So you, you just go to open Belgium streepje, how is it? Uh, 2021 lblot.info. It's in the chat. Yes. Click on that and see what the challenge is all about. Um, so let's go. What would you do with it? Um, that's our challenge for you. And I think that was our talk that concludes that. And we are open for questions. I already saw some questions. Uh, you can find a small summary in the shared notes. Yes. I did see someone asking about um, um, vegan roads. A bit difficult to say these things in a... I'm looking for the notes, yes. So if I, I do remember correctly, uh, local uh, governments have to have some register on um, yeah, um, defining new roads and, and, and adaptions to uh, the rules, the, the, the roads. Uh, and they also have to uh, um, uh, send it to uh, the central uh, database. Um, um we are working on that actually that was maybe the question um we are doing this in steps like we do with with all of the things we we try to um uh, implement i could maybe show you how it is now mentioned in our uh registry or um database of of decisions because we have a, um, we are working with uh, MOE on this uh, subject, um, where local governments can publish their um, decisions on uh, the roads as linked data, and we can harvest them um, automatically. Um, that doesn't mean uh, that we already can um, have a lot uh, um, on on his uh, segmenta, um, but that would be the future actually. So the first step is making sure that we know about the decisions 
and that it, it doesn't cost a lot of uh, effort for the local governments. I was going to for um, Roy and Plan. I could show you that we already have them in our database. I was trying to I lost my mouse thing. <laughs> Too many screens before me. Is this so? Uh, we have, for example, Notula from Willebroek, uh, like this. Can you still see this? It's still in a not linked, non-linked way, so we still have a PDF, but you can see now we, we we are finding the decisions the decisions on um, roads. If I go for Royland, we can see that we can find a decision on uh, the Royland of uh, next to the roads. Um, but the idea is that we can have lots in the decisions later on so that we also can have the information on the actual uh, his uh, weg segment. I'm not sure how to put that in English, so <laughs> I'll just have to go for the Dutch word. Is that an answer to the question? I'm trying to see the chat. Okay. Are there still some other questions I need to? Address. I assume that given that there's at least some action on the server that some people are, are uh, thinking of various solutions, either feel free to bring them up or maybe we should kind of uh, indicate what the broadness of solutions are um, that would be interesting for the challenge. Right? Yes, because what we <laughs> we want to test whether or not our solution for giving you the data is, is okay. And in general, uh, whether or not we can use this way of working uh, in order to involve citizens more in the future. So it's kind of a different levels where we are trying to get feedback uh, on how to move forward. Um, so that means that uh, anything with respect to the, to the challenge, like uh, this data is uh, is useful. Um, and I would like to extend it with the following data. It would be nice if we'd have that. Or uh, based on this, I could build an application uh, or, or I've, I've toyed with it. I built I built a few queries and and um, I now have the following information and it's, it's interesting. Um, Anything uh, that has to do with the data or uh, extending this data, what you can do with it, uh, is uh, super useful and very, very, very welcome. Uh, and then we'll figure out uh, how we uh, how we get the best information out of that, um, or or the the, the, the quote unquote best ideas. But that's mega weird, of course. Um, so anything in that regard, uh, either now or later, uh, we'd love to hear from it. We'd love to hear about it and from you, right? And I think on that page, uh, you'll find a place to uh, join the challenge, to, uh, how to contact us, if you have extra questions, how to reach us, um, if you've brought down the Sparkle endpoint, how to make sure that we bring it back up. Um, so feel free to, to ask silly questions to it, it's all fine. We have a few questions. Uh, hmm. We have, uh, is the party affiliation also available on the members of the city council, for example? Uh, Catherine, maybe, maybe? Yes, uh, yes, it is. Normally, uh, you can it's find it um, uh, via uh, the relationship Litmatschap. I was looking it up. Uh, I will post it in the in the chat. Yeah, it's in the. It, 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 it's, it, 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 it's not always the same of the of the party because um, the fraction can be some yeah uh, 
going together from several parties. Yeah. Um, local, so local it's local not yeah. completely the same. Yeah. You, could, you, you could see it as on, on which list someone is, um, is um, elected on. Elected, yes. So, and since locally there are a lot of local lists that are not having a national party behind them, um, yeah, we sometimes have really exotic names uh, at local local level. So, but you can know on which list someone is being um, Yes. If the municipalities have filled it in, and we asked for it, but not all of them are doing it, but you are going to find uh, a lot of it. Um, try, I try to find a link and I will uh, post uh, an example. Yes. And then uh, Jean is asking, what technology do you use to build the user interface? Yeah, I'm also typing it. Um, so I think the most interesting is that uh, you can actually query either the Sparkle endpoint or any backend services using uh, a RESTful endpoint and it'll yield you back JSON. So you can send out Sparkle queries and you get back JSON. Um, and so what we use, we use Semantic Works to have some microservices that uh, yield us some basic information about the triples and that lists us the um, human readable names of these, uh, of these triples. Uh, but I suppose that the more interesting thing is that you can send um, uh, Sparkle queries directly as JSON. If it should be that you hit uh, course errors, um, then we can just enable it so you can use it directly uh, the same endpoints. Uh, so you can use that Sparkle endpoint directly. Do make sure that you can configure it somewhere uh, in your application, maybe, because it might be that, so this database, you can bring it down, it's all fine for Open Belgium. Um, but there's other databases that we uh, intend to have live for a longer period of time um, if you can then replace it, then you can keep your app up and running because technically speaking, these APIs, the, the semantic model is fixed, so that should stay running for years. Was that an answer, Jean? Jean, you can use your microphone now if you like. And if you'd like to discuss further, feel free to contact and um, either chat or mail or meeting. I can see that uh, some of you are ready or uh, posting some ideas. Very good. Does everyone understand what, the, what, what, what they have to do to participate in the challenge? That may, may also be uh, something that Maybe we should uh, um, repeat it. Not sure whether or not it's on here. How to propose your idea? You can find it on the website. You have to send in your proposal uh, latest uh, at the latest on twenty twenty. 22nd of March um, in an extended elevator pitch. And Seppe is already going wild on, on IT. <laughs> All right. Any more questions? Quiet. That either means people are typing very, very rapidly, or uh, will we see further questions, maybe over email or ideas, or uh, but I see some vibe in the chat, which is uh, encouraging, and some ideas. I mean, with with actual things that you already can see. That's super rad. Thank you, Seb. All right. I think we can conclude on time. This was the first session. I hope you have a blast in searching for ideas <laughs> and sending us your um, yeah, your pitches. Thank you very much, Veronique and Katrine as well. Um, I will quickly 
copy paste the shared notes into the public chat so they are also saved on the recording uh, because that's not the case if they are in the shared notes so you will see a lot of text there voila. <laughs> um yes and if there are no further questions then i think we can uh, conclude this call i will stop recording in any case